following video is not made for kids. Your discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers, this is Akira Fang, you're coming to you with a special review, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the uh, Deluxe Class Transformers that has had Transformers fans and collectors asking why in the world it was released in the Shattered Glass line, and it is Transformers Deluxe Class Decepticon Flame War with Fire Glide. Now, those of you with a key and I will, will have noticed that in, down in the title of the video, I put the words Shatter Glass in quotations. And that's because Flame War here, technically she is not a Shatter Glass Transformers figure. And I touched on this with my review of Shatter Glass Ultra Magnus and how that figure doubled as the uh, G1 Diachrome version of the character Delta Magnus. And even more so than that action figure here. Here, this... Here, Flame War, she's a character who was created at, aided by Fun Publications for BotCon. I believe she was created either in 2005 or 2006. Flame War was a straight-up repaint of the Transformers Energon version of RC, and that's why for this new Deluxe Class figure here, the reason why she's a repaint of Legacy Prime RC figure here is because it follows the tradition of her being a repaint of versions of RC that have motor, a motorcycle for a vehicle mode. But the bottom line is that Flame War was not a Shattered Glass Transformers character. She was a non-Shattered non Glass figure. And the backstory behind Flame War or is that after she found out that she was a doppelganger and shared the same body type as RC, she became obsessed with hunting down and, down and wanting to murder RC. And that's why her, she lives up to her name Flame War and having the... Uh, burning sensation of bringing about war, or specifically to RC, because Flame War has the desire to be a unique-bodied Transformer. So, essentially, all you have to do is, um, Flame War's Decepticon logo that's on her chest, it's pink, and, uh, and essentially all you have to do is, uh, replace that one with a purple Decepticon logo, and you have the non shattered Glass version of Flame War. So, unlike the other shattered Glass Transformers characters using, uh, Another Decepticon, Megatron, as an example, where he has a completely different paint job. By releasing Flame War in the Shattered Glass line, Hasbro and Dakar Tomy basically have said that Flame War in both the regular G1 universe and in the Transformers Shattered Glass universe, she has virtually the same paint job. The only difference between Shattered Glass Flame War and the regular non-Shattered Glass version of Flame War is the color of the Decepticon logo she has on her. So, I... I was, um... Very surprised, very shocked, and also very disappointed that Flame War was released in the Shattered Glass line rather than being released in the Generation Selects line or in the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. Because any subline of the Transformers Generations line here, Legacy, Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Generation Select X, even the Velocitron Speed of 500 100 line, any of the sublines lines of the Transformers Generations line would have made more sense than Shattered Glass. Shattered Glass is the line that makes the least amount of sense for Flame War to have been released in. So that's why in the title of the video I put the word Shattered Glass in quotation marks because Flame War is blatantly a non-Shattered Glass Transformers character that's been released in the Shattered Glass line. And my OCD is not going to let go of that ever. It's going to be just a, and I'm going to always be a Asking why in the world Hasbro and Dakar Tomy approved releasing Flame War in the Shattered Glass line when she is not a Shattered Glass character. So I just wanted to clarify that with any of you wondering who exactly Flame War is. Is and that's pretty much the gist of Flame Amor. So um, she is not a heroic Decepticon by any means. She is as evil as Decepticons come. And I believe in the comic book story that was created for her, Flame War. Basically, she's a uh, insane. And her brain does not function normally, and so, yeah, she is just as evil as any Decepticons can get. Uh, one new thing about Flame War is that she has a new uh, Target Master partner, Fireglide. Fireglide is a, it is one of a repaint of one of the Battle Masters from the War for Cybertron trilogy Siege line. So that's a nice return that Hasbro and Tommy are at least using the molds whenever the, from the the Battle Masters whenever they can. There's some got some artwork of Flame War here. It's a close up of her face. As you got a zoomed out version of that image where she's holding her Battlemaster partner, Fireglide. Fireglide, I believe, is an entirely brand new character. Character. And, uh, yeah, again, I'm not gonna 
touch on this being a Shattered Glass figure, I'm going to call this G1 Flame War, Flame War through and through. So coming on here to the back of the box, you've got your product photos, you got Flame War in her robot mode and in her motorcycle mode. She transforms back and forth between both modes in 20 steps. Fire Glide is a repaint of the Siege Battlemaster Master Taraxodon. On was the original version of the mold back that was released back in 2019, and Fire Glide transforms back and forth from uh, pterodactyl mode to, to battle axe mode, mode in just five steps. So that's pretty neat to see there. And Flame Wars bio on the back of the box reads that Flame Wars is skilled where she go to any lengths necessary to keep the Decepticon legacy alive. So yes, I uh, believe the word legacy being used there is no coincidence. I think they originally wanted to release Flame War in the uh, Legacy line, but due to the backlash from fans and collectors saying that uh, Prime RC and also uh, the second version of the mold, uh, old uh, Velocitron, Velocitron Speed of 500, uh, Road Rocket, who's from the G2 series, series, because this mold has not been one of the best received, best liked molds for, molds by Transformers fans and collectors. I think that's one of the reasons why uh, Flame War was released in the Shattered Glass line. But again, it would have made it makes no sense whatsoever seeing her as a released in this subline. So my OCD about that disappointment being set aside, let's get Flame War out of her box and take a close look at her in robot mode. Alright, so before we take a look at Flame War herself, here is her new partner, uh, Fire Glide. Again, Fire Glide is an entirely uh, brand new uh, character. I don't know if, like, Flame War, Fire Glide is a female character, or if Fire Glide is a male Transformers character. I probably look at the Transformers Wikipedia really fast before the video, re done recording the video review. But yes, it is nice to see one of the uh, Battlemasters from the War for Cybertron trilogy being used once again. And for a size comparison, here's the original version of the mole. Old, uh, old here is, uh, Fire Glide compared to... Taraxodon, who is an Autobot. Uh, Taraxodon has always been one of my favorite Battlemasters from the Siege line. And Fire Glide is a pretty decent repaint of Taraxodon, considering the fact that um, um, they've kind of uh, inverted the color scheme even when you compare Fire Glide with Taraxodon. The parts on Taraxodon that are black are now red here on Fire Glide, and likewise, the part of Taraxodon that's green is black. Here on Fire Glide, so if you wanted to switch out their torsos with each other, you could end up making Fire Flat, making uh, Fire Glide a red and green, a Christmas-looking transformer, and you could have Taraxodon be entirely black. Unfortunately, the one part you can't switch out are the uh, handles for the uh, weapon mode because they are held in place by a metal pin. But you can, if you want, if you're inclined to do so, swap out the heads, the heads, the wings, and the uh, Robot mode feet, Eden. You can have, uh, you can at least have uh, tracks it on being almost entirely black. Trans act robot if you in are inclined to do so. Uh, transforming these into weapon mode is simple enough. You uh, put down the heads, and then depending on the type of axe you want the figure to be, you fold the wings down, fold down the handle for the gun mode, and then rotate the feet. And here is Fire Glide in axe mode. Do the same with Taraxodon really fast. As it's easy enough that it can be done on cam camera. So here's the uh, front of the axe mode. Um, Odom. Partially because he was released individually at mass retail. Um, Taraxodon, he's got these uh, uh, teal, teal painted highlights here on his wings, whereas Fire Glide um, Knight has unpainted wings. Uh, that's true for the second version of the mold, of the mold, which was uh, uh, Pterodactyl, who was released with the uh, Hard to Find Siege Skywarp figure. So this mold has been used three times, but um, I wasn't able to find Pterodactyl. But here's Fire Glide next to uh, to uh, Taraxodon, and then uh, you get and for Fire Glide, you get the exact same uh, blast effect act that came with. Um, Taraxodon, where it's almost like an impact effect, so if you swing the axe down, down against an enemy, bang, there's a blast effect for it. Um, unlike Taraxodon, who's um, 
the original blast effect that came packaged with Teraxodon, which was uh, done out of blue rubbery plastic on uh, Fire Glide. It's done in a, a orange plastic, plastic, but they are the blast effect is the same shape. It's the same size. So pretty much the only difference is the color color scheme. And, but overall, I really enjoy how it turned out. Unfortunately, on my copy of uh, the blast effect for Taraxodon, I had it shoved against uh, another transformer, so there's some chipping, scraping off there from touching a hard surface for an extended amount of time. But overall, I do enjoy how it came out. And so now that we have, so there's technically two types of weapons you can turn uh, this figure into. If you straighten the wings all the way out, you can either have it as like a long bladed axe weapon. Or if you uh, rotate it right here, there's also a 5mm heater peg underneath on the back of the uh, robot mode head. And if you straighten the uh, straighten it and have it sitting like this, it now is the figure also becomes a crossbow. And so you can take the blast effect, it, you can have it be a crossbow firing a laser blast here. So that's a pretty interesting thing to, thing to see that there. So. But because this uh, figure goes from a, can also turn into a axe and a uh, crossbow, it's one of the more diverse battle masters from the Siege line, and that's why, as I said a moment ago, Taraxidon has always been my uh, one of my favorite battle masters. So having Fire Glide be a repaint of Taraxidon is uh, pretty fantastic. I said a moment ago that the mold's been used three times. It's actually been used four times. I forgot about uh, Sites, the. Uh, Autobot Target Master Partner that comes with um, Jackpot, who was released in the Kingdom line. But yeah, um, even though, oh, uh, oh, Fire Glide is the fourth version of this mold that's been released. There's no mold degradation. The joints all transform fairly well. And overall, all, uh, Fire Glide is a pretty fantastic looking uh, battle, ma battle master. So without further delay, let's bring in the figure that here that is the focal point of this review, and it here is Deluxe Class Flame War. So here she is in all her splendor and glory, wielding Fire Glide item. Fresh out of the box, the elbow joint and the shoulder joint is still strong enough that Fire Glide can be held held up fresh out of the box. Uh, setting Fire Glide off to the side, just wanted to show what Flame War looked like holding Fire Glide for just a moment there. But yeah, here's Flame War in all her splendor and glory. So. Um, I touched on it at the beginning of the video, but basically, for those of you who are unaware who Flame War is as a Transformers character, um, she's always been an obscure Transformers character. She was introduced at the official Transformers convention, BotCon, which unfortunately doesn't exist anymore. She was created, I believe, back in either 2005 or 2006, and basically the idea behind Flame War is that she's an insane Decepticon who's obsessed with, uh, Destroying RC because Flame War hates the idea that she and RC share the same body type, and that's essentially who Flame War is. Is um, she hasn't been too much expended upon as a Transformers character, and I believe um, this right here, the uh, repaint of the Legacy Prime RC figure. This is only the uh, fourth uh, action figure of Flame War that's been uh, released by Hasbro. Oh, and Dakar Tommy. The first version was, of course, the first BotCon version, which was a repaint of Energon RC, and then the, uh, I believe it was the Prime First Edition version of Prime RC, the first edition figure. That figure was also repainted into Flame War, but once again, that figure was released as a BotCon exclusive, so it's extremely hard to find. But there were, but before, after that figure, that second BotCon figure was released, and before, the uh, Legacy is what I'm going to call this version of Flame War. Before this figure was released, there technically was, and there remains, a single solitary action figure of Flame War that was released at mass retail. And it is this right here. This is the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Cyberverse Legends class Flame War action figure. It's a straight up repaint of the Prime Cyberverse Ursa. I believe this is only a three inch tall uh, repaint of the Prime RC figure. Figure. And this remains the only action figure of Flame War that's ever been released at mass retail. Retail was the tiny was, was this tiny three-inch uh, Prime Beast Hunter Cyberverse Flame War figure. 
figure, like every other figure of Flame War that exists, is a straight up repaint of, R of an existing RC figure, in this case the Prime Cyberverse RC. When this was released back in 2013, I saw it and I figured that it was a cool looking uh, action figure, especially for being a Decepticon repaint of RC. And I do not regret getting this tiny little Flame War action figure because since it's now the year 2023, this for the last decade was the only Flame War action figure that I had in my collection, and when I found out that it was the only action figure Flame War released at Mass Retail, that just made me uh, all the happier to have it in my collection, but I am thrilled to finally have a deluxe class action figure Flame War in my collection. But again, this is not a Shattered Glass Transformers action figure, so it just really annoys me that her Decepticon logo, the Decepticon logo on her chest is not a purple one, because Flame War is not a Shattered Glass character. But yeah, for a special size comparison here, she is next to the uh, a Prime Beast Hunter Cyberverse 3 inch tall uh, Flame War action figure. And, excuse me for just one moment. Alright, and for one last size comparison, here is Flame War next to her mold mates. We got Legacy uh, Prime RC and Legacy Velocitron Speed of 500 G2 Road Rock Rocket. And again, this mold has not been the greatest mold. It's one of the molds that a lot of Transformers fans and collectors have said it's there least favorite mold to come out of the Legacy line, and even when you transform this figure correctly, I do have to admit the robot mode is somewhat difficult to, uh, difficult to, uh, pose and have, have, a uh, stand up prop properly in robot mode. Oh, um, one thing I'm noticing with Otisine trying to insert Fire Glide into, uh, right, into, uh, Flame Wars hands is that um, even though the fist hole is supposed to be five millimeters thick, the handle on p flame on a fire glide it doesn't really want to go in that far, and so it's only the tip of the handle that's uh, actually going into uh, Flame Wars hand. So as I uh, accidentally drop her trying to pull fire glide out, so unfortunately, he uh, just a special tip. If and I'm oh, it's also with the five millimeter peg on the crossbow position, but just a heads up to everyone. And um, even though the fist on this mold is supposed to be five millimeters thick, the handle on the Siege Battle Ma Master mold it's too thick to be inserted all the way into the hand. So just a heads up for those of you who haven't gotten a hold of Flame War yet. If you try and shove Fire Glide all the way down into her hand, you're probably going to break a Flame Wars fist. Yes, so unfortunately, Fire Glide, I'd, uh, I can't be actually be held, held by Flame Wars, so that is a very big letdown. So, just bringing back the uh, Beast Hunter Flame War figure here. Here, so uh, yeah, to see that out of the box, that Flame War can't really hold her. Uh, Battle Man, Master Partner, that's a really huge letdown. Head down to see that. Uh, it does insert better when you have it holding it upside down like that. And you have her holding Fire Glide upside down. But again, that just looks really silly having her hold it upside down. Um, but apart from being unable to actually hold Fire Glide, I'd, uh, Fire Glide is a nice inclusion to come with uh, come with Flame War. So, um, without further delay, hey, now that we've looked at uh, Robot Mode, let's get Flame War transformed into her Vehicle Mode and wrap up the review. Alright, so to finish up the review, here we have Flame War transformed into her Motorcycle Mode. Uh, she does roll fairly well. Well, all things considered, especially with how the wheels of this mold transform. And again, here she is in a size comparison with the only other figure of Flame War that I have, the Prime Beast Hunter Cyberverse Flame War figure from 2013. Here she is with her mold mates. We got Road Rocket and Legacy Prime RC, which I use as G1 Solus Prime. And also here is Fire Glide. Um, after messing around, I messed around with Fire Glide and um, Road Rocket and Prime RC, or Solus Prime as I call her, and unfortunately there is no, because this mold, because this mold wasn't originally designed to interact with a Battlemaster from the Siege line, unfortunately there's no way to attack, hatch, but Iron Glide to Flame War, 
or so. It is a nice pairing, but unfortunately it's one that doesn't really work properly. But all things considered, considered, I do enjoy how Flame War came out, with the exception of her Decepticon logo being pink instead of jet ink instead of purple. Purple, I do enjoy her paint job. It is accurate to the paint job that was given to her, her, her by Hasbro. Oh, and overall, all um, it is uh, despite some differences, it is fairly accurate compared to her. Cyberverse figure, and this is what made Flame Defined Flame War. She's a she's mostly black with a uh, red highlights, and having the flame deco painted on her sides that's a key feature of her. Um, I just noticed um, one part of her broke off, and I reattached it facing the wrong direction. Let me get that flame around facing the right way. So yeah, a lot of Transformers fans and collectors have said that the uh, Prime RC mold it's there least favorite mold to come out of the uh, legacy line and considering how difficult it can be to uh, transform these fi how difficult it can be to transform the molds I can I am inclined to agree I don't really transform these molds that often I usually I've usually been leaving these two versions of the mold and transform into motorcycle mode. Oh, and I'm probably going to do the same with Flame War until hopefully someday I can get the shelving space to have all three of them displayed transformed into robot mode. But for now, as far as which of these three is my favorite version of the mold, um, all things considered, I think Flame War has surpassed Road Rocket and Prime RC in being my favorite version of this mold. Prime RC is my second favorite, and then unfortunately, um, even though Road Rocket's the most distinguished since she has a separate head sculpt. She is my least favorite version of the mold, but it's not that too far behind from the other two versions. I think all three of them are equally uh, impressive in their own right as far as uh, as impressive as this mold, mold can get. So, the, so for the final question, do I recommend getting the uh, Legacy Shattered Glass Flame War figure and adding it to your Transformers collection? Absolutely I do. Do I hate that this was released in the Shattered Glass line? Oh, absolutely. This is not a Shattered Glass Transformers figure. This is a G1 non-Shattered Glass action figure. Action figure, but apart from that, um, I do recommend you get Flame War if you can get her. Even though she can't really interact with Fire Glide. I do like the inclusion of Fire Glide with Flame War. And thank you guys all so much. This has been in the TFA. This has been my review of Transformers. Armor's Legacy, a quote-unquote Shattered Glass Deluxe Class Flame War. I highly recommend you get this figure if you can, even if you have, have Legacy Prime RC and Legacy Velocitron Road Rocket. I'll get getting the mold a third time for Flame War is, Flame War is worth it due to the impressive deco that she has. Thank you guys all so much, and until next time, you guys, stay safe, stay healthy, transform it, roll out. Goodbye, everyone.